anymore. It may cost you your, you know, the approval of your children. Uh, you know, there's, there's, your reality has tentacles to other people. That if you start changing in a fundamental way, it's going to send an earthquake in your reality, and it's going to shatter a lot of things. Once you are, are settled in that truth, it doesn't mean that you wouldn't be afraid, etc., but, but if you were, you could, you could get up, garner strength from that place, and then let the earthquake in the reality happen, and let the chips fall where they may. If people no longer love you because you're not a successful, you know, wealthy, you know, in the system person, then maybe they weren't there to be, um, to be there in the first place. Other people will come eventually. So, but it is an alone journey. It requires a lot of courage. But every step, if you all you do is put one foot in front of the other, you will arrive, and you will arrive at you. You will arrive at you. How beautifully said. How beautifully said. Uh, and you are not alone. The propaganda says that you are alone. But for instance, in India, a group of physicians, uh, perhaps a week ago, put up a, an emergency declaration saying that they wanted doctors to stop administering the kill shot. And they wanted doctors to talk about what the shots were doing. Now, thousands of doctors, I am among them, have gone to a telegram group, or is it a WhatsApp group? It's a WhatsApp group called Emergency Declaration. And we have made videos. I made a two-minute video in which I spoke about it. Thousands and thousands of people from around the world are saying, yes, 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 yes. I didn't know there were that many doctors who were willing to speak. And yet there are. There are a vast number of them, and everyone will motivate more. You are not alone. It, you know, you're an intelligent person who is having grave doubts about lies that are not resonating as truth because they're lies. And your, your inner life, the one that led you into medicine to begin with, to help people, is screaming for you to pay attention to it by listening to it. And I, I think it's been beautifully said by you, Anna. I think it's very, very important. And if people don't like it, well, you know what? You're supposed to be able to be an independent thinker. That's what they told you you were when they took away your ability to think independently. Right? And they said, no, you can't ask those questions. You have to have these answers. But you're still the intelligent human being that you were. And you still have, like every human being, a thirst for truth. And the truth does ring like a bell in our hearts. If we listen. So, um, before we stop, this has been a long and wonderful opportunity for us to talk together. Uh, and I thank you so much for your time and your wisdom and your journey and your willingness to share it. Before we stop, um, what are your final thoughts in this uh, edition of Doctor to Doctor? My final thought is that as long as, as we have hope and as long as we have each other, um, you know, the future is bright and to, uh, to stand on that foundation to just move forward, you know. Uh, we are in the most exciting time. Uh, we are in the biggest fight in the universe and it's like, it's fun. Let's get involved, you know. Uh, wrestle with adversity, you know. Get out there and let your voice be heard and don't be afraid. Don't be afraid because what I uh, what Jesus said, it's like there's a growing movement and we are not alone. There's millions of us, you know, human beings on this planet who don't want to be exterminated. So we have a lot of 
kinship, brothers and sisters, and we a lot of friends. So I, I just say, you know, let's let's get alive and be excited and passionate about it. We meet the greatest people. Thank you so much. What a pleasure. Thank you so much, Rima. Thank you so much for your time. Do you want to stop recording? I have a pistachio and snickerdoodle finger. Uh, <laughs> cinnamon sugar with a pistachio.